this. Okay. Uh, okay. So, yes, it's working. Let's put this on. Okay. Okay. Are, are you seeing thing, everything yep. great? Awesome. So yeah, we are running here the uh, some StereoKit application uh, with the no with the Northstar headset uh, using a depth AI camera, and this is running Basalt. And as you can see, uh, basically we have positional tracking and rotational tracking, which is everything we want. Um, and I can inspect things, and hand tracking works as well. Of course, the, the hand tracking was uh, presented today. And things are working, and everything is free, permissively licensed, and running totally open source and in Monado. So I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> OK, uh, I guess that's it for the demo. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I, oh yeah, yeah, I want to show that, yeah. So let's see uh, the basalt, basalt UI. So what is happening here? Uh, let's see. Do you want me to put it again? Uh, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, okay, so do you see, okay. So here we have the camera streams of these two cameras. And the cameras are basically uh, detecting different points of interest in, this, in the 2D images. Those 2D images, uh, th th that gets done via feature, feature detection, and then those, uh, the, the different features get uh, paired between the two cameras with, through feature matching. And that feature matching, that detection, you can then triangulate into 3D points that you can see here, hopefully. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. OK, I maybe had me a mouse. Oh, no. Ow. OK, oh. Yeah, it is. OK, kind of. OK. There are some blue points in the 3D view that hopefully you're seeing. Those are the features triangulated into 3D. And uh, with that information, together with the IMU data, uh, everything gets integrated into the bundle adjustment optimization, which is basically a nonlinear optimizer running Levember Marquardt, Levember, Levember Marquardt optimizer. Uh, that is basically doing everything and estimating the pose, finally. As you can see, there are some blue cameras, uh, some blue kind of frames that are in the kind of like letting a trail. Uh, so I mentioned Basalt was a VIO pipeline, so it doesn't have uh, permanent information of the map. That means it only keeps a map for the last seven keyframes it is seeing. So what this means is that, for example, if we are running the, okay, let's see how we're still running. I will run the application again to show you something, which is kind of like one of the problems of Basalt. So uh, now it works pretty well. The problem is that if I like make the cameras, uh, if, if I block the cameras and move, as you can see, uh, okay, let's see. I'm blocking the cameras, so there are no features. We are drifting because of the IMU stuff. And we are in the f same physical spot, but the things have drifted. I mean, it's recovering because, OK, I didn't, OK, it's recovering because I didn't let enough time pass uh, for the keyframes to get lost. But you get kind of like the idea. You get drift, you drift a bit, and then, OK, I lost it. I, like, the panels are in other place that they shouldn't be. <laughs> OK, you get the idea. That is kind of like the main problem we have with Basalt right now. Uh, but in general, it works pretty well. Uh, I mean, for the normal way of operation, it works pretty well. Uh, 